What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So right here, I've updated one of my Apple Watch devices to the latest watchOS version. You can see we are on watchOS 11 and this device that you see on the left hand side is on watchOS 10. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the main differences that you can see from the get go once you update to watchOS 11 from watchOS 10. The first thing that you probably need to know when it comes to this is the supported device list because watchOS 11 actually drops support for two Apple Watch devices and those are the Apple Watch Series 4 and the Apple Watch Series 5. So this is a list of all the supported devices on watchOS 11. So if you do have an older device that was supported on watchOS 10, it doesn't necessarily mean that when watchOS 11 comes out you officially get the update right here i have two iphone devices this one is connected to my apple watch ultra that's updated to watch os 11 as you can see and it's on ios 18 so i want to show you the now playing screen that has been updated and this one is connected to the apple watch series 7 so if you go ahead and play a video on both of the devices, you can see how the now playing screen on watchOS 10, the now playing screen automatically pops up while on watchOS 11, it doesn't automatically do that, but you can see the wave of this icon on the top corner really changes and if you click there you can see the now playing screen alternatively if you go to your widgets page right here you can see how it looks on watchOS 11 and this on watchOS 11 just takes a widget page but on watchOS 10 it takes the whole screen I think this one on watchOS 11 really looks much cleaner and much better and you can always see a glimpse of what the next widgets hold unlike what it's showing here on watchOS 10. When it comes to watch faces there's also a change so what you are seeing here is actually the new photos watch face that has been updated with watchOS 11. This is an update to the existing photos watch face that was previously existing on watchOS 10. This has been made slightly advanced because for example if you go into the watch face application you might be able to see that some watch faces have been removed and i've done a list of all the watch faces that watchOS 11 removes because of the improvements on the existing apple watch faces that we already have now on this side we have watchOS 10 and on this side we have watchOS 11 so i'm just gonna go ahead and open up the apple watch application on both we're gonna start from the top and i'm gonna let you know which watch faces watchOS 11 updates and removes that are still existing on watchOS 10. So the first watch face that has been removed here on watchOS 11, you can see on watchOS 10, we have this numerals watch face that you can select, but on watchOS 11, you only have the numerals duo. Now, since the photos watch face has been updated on watchOS 11, you can see we still have the photos watch face here, but on watchOS 10 and the photos, we had portraits right after, but right here on watchOS 11, you can see the portraits has been removed because the photos watch face is now advanced and allows you to be able to center your clock around whatever subjects are there. And it uses some sort of machine learning or in short AI to be able to do that so portraits is no longer available on watchOS 11 going down a little bit you can see right here on watchOS 10 we have the Siri watch face but on watchOS 11 this Siri watch face has been removed it's actually nowhere to be found and rumor has it that this is probably because of the updates that are soon going to be coming to Siri on iOS 18 and also on watchOS 18 as well. So maybe we might be able to see this watch face returned once Siri has been released with AI integration pretty soon. On watchOS 11, if you wanna see your notifications and you want to use your digital crown, you can just 
swipe down or move the digital crown like this and your notifications will show up but on watchOS 10 as you can see when you move your digital crown it literally doesn't do anything watchOS 11 also gets three new applications and all the new applications you are going to see at the end of the watch list if you have the grid view if you are in list view then you will need to go to each application individually in alphabetical order this is the vitals application there's an updated shazam watch application and we have a new translate application on watch os 10 if you go all the way down you can see we don't actually have the updated applications here but just to show you this is the new vitals application it tracks five vital metrics while you sleep so you will get a pop-up screen when you open it up for the first time and when you open it like this it shows you like a typical or overview of your vitals so the first one is the overall overview and then the second one is heart rate the next one is respiratory rate and this one it's saying one night remaining because it requires you to sleep with your watch for about seven consecutive days for it to get an average reading and then the next one is risk temperature and then if you go here there's blood oxygen is the next one i wonder if this is going to be showing up for certain apple watch series in the u.s since they might have removed the bo2 max sensor or disabled the feature and the last one is sleep duration and you can see how this vitals looks and you have the border right here in the middle that's basically your normal range and anything outside of this border or if it's on the top end on the bottom end it will be an outlier and basically you get a notification in your apple watch telling you that hey something is out of the usual range and you should look into it the next application that i just want to show you quickly is the new translate app you can see here we have an updated translate layout you can see on watch os 10 if you manually updated your device and you didn't download the existing one you won't have the translate app but on watch os 11 as you can see here it comes preloaded and it has a new interface that's more modern and not only that you can always click here and be able to translate to different languages so arabic chinese chinese mandarin and you can see the other different languages that you can translate to and it's very easy to use you can actually just press the swipe or switch icon right here and it's switch from French to English so if I wanted to say something I'm recording a YouTube video say hi to the guys that I'm talking to let's see how it translates it to French you can see it makes it as a text and if you want to hear the audio you can quickly press and it will speak J'enregistre une vidéo YouTube, dit « Bonjour au gars à qui je parle, voyons comment elle s'est traduite en français. » Merci beaucoup, mon frère. <laughs> the other application that has been updated slightly is Shazam. You can see how it looks. We have a slightly updated interface when listening. And every time you tap for it to listen, it pings. And at the same time, if you cancel, you can see double pings. And if you swipe up like this, you can see your recent history Shazams. And if you click see more, you can see so many of your recent history. On watchOS 11, you can see the interface for the activity application has been updated but right here on watch os 10 you can see how it looks on the top corner right here you can see we have a new icon wall on watch os 10 nothing is there and if you click on your rings for example you can see it allows you to be able to change your goals this can be for move or stance whichever you want to change or you can pause your rings as well on watch os 10 if you click on your rings, it doesn't give you that option. So that's another change. And if you click on this, you can see it gives you like an overview of your typical workout. And it's supposed to give you like a range just to show you if you are overworking or underworking. In the activities application, you can see some differences as well. On watchOS 10 that you see right here, you can see we still have the old view. While on watchOS 11, this has been updated. It's more of a grid view you can see step count distance and so on and if you go all the way down you also have the ability to add this option that says training load 
while on watch os 10 this is not yet available and you can see if you have any outstanding outlier as well watch os 10 if you swipe your digital crown up you can see you come to your widget page and that is still the same on watch os 11 but the motion and the way the widgets transition on watch os 11 seems to be improved and more fluid at the same time if you click on your widgets and you try to add more options you can see on watch os 11 the menu has been updated you can add more widgets and you have more widgets that support live activities and this is reminiscent if you go into the settings of your apple watch so on watch os 10 right here if we go into the settings see how the settings menu looks like but on watch os 11 if we go into the settings you can see you have the smart stack right here it's been brought front and center and you can click there and be able to enable live activities in widgets if you have like a stopwatch or timer or uber eats or skip the dishes and it's coming and has live activities you'll be able to see it on your iphone with ios 18 and on your apple watch with watch os 11. in workouts it's also been updated so for example when you open up on watch os 11 you can see there's a new pop-up screen that says start a check-in when working out and this is a new feature that can be used for example you can see you can use check-in to automatically notify a friend when workout has ended and choose what details they can see so if we go back and for example go to outdoor walk it will automatically trigger and i'll do the same on watch os 10 so that you can see the difference if i swipe to the right like this on both devices you notice on watch os 10 my options are limited but on watch os 11 i have the check-in option right here this is very helpful for people that are going to be working out in the evenings or for example if you are going for a run outdoor and you don't feel like it's the best time but you want to periodically notify someone that you choose that you're safe then you can do that on watch os 11 also the now playing while doing a workout screen has been updated you can see how it looks on watch os 10 and this is how it looks on watch os 11 because i'm doing a workout as you can see for the purposes of testing in my live activities on both apple watch versions on watch os 10 it's front and center same as on watch os 11 but notice the next or second widget that is suggested for me on watch os 11 because it's outside of my usual hours i get this as a suggestion and now i can be able to notify this person that hey don't worry I'm still safe. Something that's pretty cool about watchOS 11 compared to watchOS 10 is that if you use maps a lot on the Apple Watch and you download an offline maps on watchOS 11, it actually will show you that it's downloaded to the Apple Watch as well unlike watchOS 10 where you had to do that manually so this is something that's useful for people that use offline maps on the apple watch and if you get lost while using the offline maps then even if you don't have data connection you will still be able to find your way around on watchOS 11 another change that you can see here on watchOS 10 you can see the remote application the way it looks but on watchOS 11 this has removed the remote app and replaces it with the apple tv remote app meaning it's no longer possible to control music on your mac or pc with the apple watch application but you can still be able to control your apple tv as long as you're on the same wi-fi network another difference that's here this one is kind of major because on watch os 10 if you go into your settings and you go to where it says sounds and haptics right here you can see you don't have the ability to change your default tone but on watch os 11 if we go into our system settings and then go to sounds and haptics you can see we have the ability to change our ringtones so ringtones text tones mail tones calendar alerts reminder alerts defaults and so on and if you now don't want to have this as your default tone which we've always had on the apple watch it sounds like this you can now select something like this
If you have the Apple Watch Ultra 1 or Ultra 2 on watchOS 11, if you press your and hold your action button, you can see it triggers this menu where you can actually change it from the get-go without having to go into your settings. And the good thing is you can actually set it to shortcuts and now you can do a lot of various activities with your Apple Watch by just pressing and holding where previously on watchOS 10, you had to go into your settings to change this. At the same time, if you have, a, let's say for example, if you have a sleep focus that you are in on watchOS 11, you notice your display will shut off. So I'll just do the same sleep focus on watchOS 10 here so that you can see. And now if I lower my risk, and raise it up the devices won't wake up but on watchOS 10 you notice if i just tap it's prompting me to press and hold the digital crown to unlock so now it's unlocked and it's out of um, the focus i can turn it off like this but on watchOS 11 you notice it doesn't prompt me to hold as long as i just tap like this um, it now wakes up the screen and I'm able to go in and be able to change or switch off the sleep focus. This is kind of unfortunate because there's a lot of accidental presses or touches on the digital crown when one is sleeping and they move around. So I, on this case, I side with the feature that works pretty good on watchOS 10 unlike watchOS 11. So other than that, those are just some of the many new features that are here and differences when it comes to watchOS 10 and watchOS 11. Let me know which one you like and which one you dislike. When it comes to workouts, I forgot to highlight that there's a lot of workouts that have actually been changed and some have been improved with watchOS 11 and some are still here that aren't available on watchOS 11. So that's about it for me. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.